Happy 4th of July, everyone. For today's message, I want you to imagine the life of Job. For a second, just imagine everything is ripped from you. Your houses, your finances, your business. Imagine your kids pass away. Your wife is gone. Your wife, I think, hates you and tells you you should curse God. Imagine all that ripped away. Imagine you're sitting on the street. You've lost everything. And slowly, item by item, you get one thing back. Say on your first day, you have no clothes. It's cold out. The next day, you get uh, an outfit to wear. The day after that, you get a jacket. By this time, you're probably a little hungry. After that, you get a little bit of food. get a little bit of water. You've been sleeping outside. Fifth day, sixth day, you get a bed. You get some blankets. Then you get a nice shower. And then think about this. The day after you get a house and your clothes and your food, you're able to get a job. And you're able to work that job. Now think about that in your imaginary scenario. How much that job means to you. How happy are you to have that job? And uh, I bring this to mind because I made a post the other day where wherever you're at in life, right now, especially if you're watching these videos, I'm assuming you're doing okay. And that there are people in other countries who pray for the things that you have now and pray for the problems that you have now. In the video or the reel I was talking about how I used to go to bed hungry, especially my first couple of years in the Philippines where I wasn't earning that much. I would go to bed hungry and I'd joke around with my brothers that if we shared a stomach, so if one of us ate, all of us ate. We just didn't have food. We didn't tell our parents because in the US, if you can't support yourself, you're just seen as weak. So we didn't tell our parents. And I remember having experience in the US, having experience under my dad's um, internship that there are people whose biggest problem is that there's a report due next week on a computer. And like that's the biggest problem they have to deal with. They're not facing starvation. They're not facing uh, floods. They're not facing flooding. They're not facing power going out. They're not facing electricity going out when it's like 120 degree weather outside. They're not facing any of that. They're in a nice air conditioned room. They just finished lunch. And the biggest problem they got is an Excel report that's due. So for this 4th of July, I want you guys to just sit and think about if you're in America, 4th of July is the Independence Day in America. If you're in America, think about all the nice things you have. You have traffic that can be bad sometimes, but it's still moving. In the Philippines, there was one time where I had, it was raining during rush hour, and it took me two hours to commute a mile. So just think about that. Just think about in context, all these small things we get pissed about in this country, all these small things we take for granted in this country, and try and have a little appreciation. And the biggest way I know to do that is imagine it was all t ripped, from, ripped away from you and slowly give them back. How much do you appreciate each little bit? So that's it for today, guys. Appreciate time with your family. Appreciate the job you got. Appreciate all the things you have around the house that piss you off because somewhere around the world, someone doesn't have any of that and they wish they did. See you guys tomorrow.